it is Christina here. So today I want to film for you guys this video using the Nikki Tutorials collab with Too Faced called, it's a silk kit called, The Power of Makeup. And I'm super excited because it's Nikki Tutorials and she's super talented. She has millions of subscribers on YouTube and she deserves every single one of them. So it comes in this box like so. Then there are some um, like makeup cards to show you like how to get the looks and they're actually of Nikki's face in here. And then it comes with a bag and then this cute palette. I remember getting this in the mail and I was like, what is this? I was like, who? And then I was like, oh, shit, it's Nikki Tutorials. And so here is the palette. It comes with nine eyeshadows. I used Ivy, Irisful, Painkiller, Makeup and Chill, and Mystic Hour, as well as Wanted. And then for my blush, I used this one right here. So it's the nine eyeshadows once again. And then the two blushes, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which is my favorite. And then the Champagne Truffle Highlight. So in the bag, there is this glitter. It's like a silvery, sparkly glitter that is called Glitterly, which is a really cute name. And then there's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but I didn't use this one, I wish I did. But um, this is the Better Than Sex Mascara, and it's purple. What? It's purple. I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah. Um, it didn't really go with my look today, so I didn't use it. But yeah, so it's purple, and they don't sell it anywhere else. Um, and then here is the sketch marker. I think this is like the blackest one that you can get. I do have the rest of them, so if you guys want to see a video on those, let me know. And then we have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I really like. I think it's like a deluxe sample, but it's actually a really good size, right? But basically for the eyeshadows, the shade Irresistible sort of annoyed me because I would keep on packing on the gold and I foiled it too, and it wasn't really showing up as well as I would have liked it to, and I have used other eyeshadows that were better than this one, like glitter, glittery shimmery eyeshadows so yeah but I did love this color for my lower lash line it looks really like pretty in person I don't know if you guys can really see it that well but I did love adding this color for like a nice like pop of blue underneath but yeah so this eyeshadow was giving me a little bit of trouble the mattes were pretty good it's pretty blendable but the glitter did like sort of get into the matte but you can't really tell right now but that's that um I did like these two blush options, but for my skin tone, I sort of like to have like a warmer orange instead of just like that orangey color. So I just mix it with the bronzer. Of course, I love the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I use that all the time. I use it religiously. Um, the highlighter was absolutely beautiful. I love how it looks um, on. I just haven't used this one. So I don't really go for like pinky type shades, but I think for a whole entire like idea, this whole entire thing was really awesome, especially considering everything that was in this bag, including the limited edition um, purple Better Than Sex mascara, because they don't have that. Hopefully they come up with a line of colored mascaras, because I'd love that. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really good idea, and I think especially for a power of makeup theme, these um, makeup products and everything were perfect. Um, congratulations, Nikki, on your collab. But yeah, so that's basically my thoughts and honest opinions on this whole entire set. So if you guys are going to purchase it, I will link it down below. Or you can probably get it... Ulta, maybe? Sephora. I don't know. They'll, they'll sell it somewhere. <laughs> um, but hopefully they're not out of stock by the time I put up this video. And yeah. So that is it for what was in the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup collab with Too Faced. I will link it down below if there are still any available. I'm not, I wasn't told to make a video about it, but they did send it to me and I just wanted to share it because it was kind of cool that like a YouTuber like collab and like all that stuff, but whatever. But anyways, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get started. So to start off this look, I'm just going to be moisturizing my lips with this Image Skincare Lip Balm and then priming my eyelids and singing along um, with this Too Faced Shadow Insurance followed by a concealer just to even out the base of my lid and then I'm going to be setting that with this pressed powder by Makeup Forever and then going into the Power of Makeup palette by Nikki Tutorials. I'm going to be going into the shade Irresistible and foiling that out to apply on the first half of my lid. I did have to go back with this eyeshadow because it was not showing up as much as I would have liked it to and now with this Estee Edit Metallic Shadow Cream in the shade Solar Blast, I'm going to be applying that just to sketch out um, where I want that shadow to be and then going in with Painkiller, um, which is a medium light brown to act as our transition shade, followed by Makeup and Chill, which is a darker, warmer brown to intensify these eyes and darken them up, and then connect it to that um, metallic shadow that we applied previously along the tape. So we're going to keep on blending like so, and then moving on to the next eye. I did want to go for more of a semi-cut crease, but um, not really. 
So yeah, so I'm applying a little bit more of that gold shadow and then going into the shade Ivy to just apply on the first part of my lid above the gold just to, I don't know, brighten it up. And then applying the sketch marker um, liquid liner to my lash line. And we're just winging it out. And now we're cleaning up any excess eyeshadow that has fallen and applying Maybelline's Fit Me foundation all over our face. We did this after so that we could um, cover up any of the eyeshadow that fell below. And blending that with a beauty blender. <laughs> that is me talking to my friend who was helping me film. And then we are concealing our under eyes with this Makeup Forever Concealer. I really do like it and especially that it's like a tube. It just squeezes out and it's so sanitary. And then blending out um, underneath there. And then setting it with the Makeup Forever powder that we used earlier on our lids. I really do like this powder, but if you have dry skin like I did this day, <laughs> do not use this one. And then using this big brush to just set my entire face. Like so. Okay. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I was listening to music. Um, and then going into the Chocolate Sully Bronzer in the palette um, and really warming up the face. My face was really pale from the foundation, but um, I gotta get a new one. But yeah, I really do love this bronzer. I use it all the time, even before I had this palette. I used it religiously. Um, and yeah, so continue to do that um, on the higher points of your face, such as your temples and then your cheekbones. And then with the I Will Always Love You blush and the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I'm applying this onto my cheeks because I wanted a warm peachy um, shade for my cheeks. I really do like colors like this, but I did have to mix it. Um, and then with this highlighter in Champagne Truffle, applying that to the high points of my face like the tip of my nose and the cheekbones. I got the high points mixed up before, so just ignore that. <laughs> and then <laughs> applying this liner on the lash line and then setting that with um, Wanted. It's a matte black shade. And then going in with Mystic Hour to add a pop of blue and we're blending that on the lower lash line. I blended, I blended it a lot more than I showed in the tutorial, but just continue to blend. I didn't want to make this tutorial too long because um, I didn't want anyone to get bored. Even though I'm probably already boring. I am so sorry. And we're doing the brows, but I'm not going <laughs> to bore you again and um, show a whole tutorial. So I just did that. I set them and everything. I'm applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, not the one that came in the kit. Um, and then I'm applying the, these eyelashes. These are Coco Misha lashes, I believe. I will have them down below as well as these other, other products. But yeah, they're really nice. And I set my brows here. And then applied this um, lip crayon type thing, but then by Buxom. But then I went in with uh, Max half and half because I wanted to make it a little bit more nude and less pink. So yeah, that is the finished look. I set this with the setting spray, which I did not show, and then that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. I thought I'd just go for this. I don't even know what kind of look it is. I just hope you like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Don't forget to follow me on all social media and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I love you guys so much once again and mwah.